Oh, hi there. Uh, it's late into the night. I slept for a few hours, and uh, now I'm awake. So I figured I'd uh, do a video. Um, I want to talk about the ant farms in China. Um, this was um, a belief I had for some time now, many years, that these places in fact existed. Uh, but it was actually Chris Chappell of uh, China Uncensored uh, YouTube channel that um, reminded me of them. He said that um, they were underground uh, living quarters, compounds for college students and um, just the big cluster of unemployed young people. Uh, that's somewhat true. But uh, he said there were 8 million college students graduating every year. Uh, that's not that many people considering there's billion and a half people in China. Uh, more likely, there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and maybe even millions of people living in um, these ant farms. Basically, subterranean underground living quarters. Uh, and they're going to live in abject poverty uh, that's going to breed desperation and savagery barbarity um, with easy access to the internet um, uh, all kinds of stories can just brood over there now, don't get me wrong the internet in China is completely different than the internet in North America They're two different things uh, they do their things over there, we do our things over here, and it's completely different. Um, it's just what's spooky about um, an underground living space where there are thousands of people um, is that it's not that hard to build uh, an unbreakable door by human hand. It's quite possible you could just be an idiot, go there on vacation, and uh, just wander down uh, one of these subterranean living areas and never be seen again. Chinese government's not going to save you. In fact, they'd probably promote the idea of white people going missing in China. I mean, if you're ever going to go there, it's better to be going in there in anonymity. But, uh, not a good idea to go there at all, to be honest with you. I wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't recommend it. And I, I'm not going to physically stop somebody from going, but, uh, I would make my case clear that they should not go there. Um, doesn't matter what the television says, um, the Chinese tourist industry is. It doesn't matter uh, how many friends you have that are Chinese and say how great the country is or they say whatever about it. Um, the fact is uh, there are gangs that roam around there just like there are anywhere. And um, they're, they get up to things that are you know quite terrifying. All the usual sort of things that gangs get up to. Like, I don't know, it's just all the sort of stuff they do. Um, and they have uh, wild things in these uh, living quarters. Uh, and some of it may go to the internet, and um, you just become another lost soul. Um, yeah, I, I asked around if people knew what an ant farm was in China. Nobody knows. And um, you Google search it, or you go on YouTube, and it'll take you to China Ann McLean, a young black girl, a pop singer, which has nothing to do with ant farms in China. Um, it it sounds like a slang kind of term to explain things, but you know that should actually be in the definition, in the dictionary of what. Um, of what an ant farm in China is. It's uh, 
living quarters for thousands of people and it's very difficult to control or reason with that many people Just, uh, think about your immediate surroundings and how difficult people can be over the smallest of things now imagine they got a white guy there uh, he's out of place he's odd he's unusual he's not supposed to be there they don't like him anyway because he's white he may have a bit of money um, all these things can brood um, nasty thoughts against somebody in that particular situation uh, so you obviously uh, you just don't want to go there it's not safe don't matter what the propaganda on the television says there was a thing on Knowledge Network saying oh uh, come to China for the uh, New Year uh, and how festive and pleasant and nice everything's going to be that's not really what China's about um, you can literally go into one of these ant farms and never be seen again um, and yeah there's there's nothing uh, our government can do about it because it doesn't have jurisdiction over there and who knows what their government thinks but I'm sure they don't get one iota of a damn about a white guy going missing so um, maybe my imagination's um, starting to uh, build up because of um, this thought because there's there's no written accounts on the internet that I've seen uh, there's nothing on YouTube I had heard a vague story of um, some compound that had 33,000 people in it and it was basically jungle law and I believe those are more common than people know a lot of people ain't even heard that story a lot of people don't know about these sort of things and they walk around with um, with a conception of the world that's not accurate um, and in a lot of places it's just not a good idea to go to them and even saying that is going to piss some of my fans off but if it pisses you off that I'm saying the truth then I don't consider you a fan and I don't care what you think I live in a respectable country and I you know, um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat a uh, lump of shit. Anyway, um, yeah, um, bad rapping the Chinese uh, government in China in general is, uh, usually not advisable even in this country because you'll get uh, deemed as a racist and a neo-nazi and uh, you'll be shunned uh, you'll be ignored and uh, people won't like you right off the bat uh, because they believe so solidly in diversity and being politically correct and all this sort of stuff that they just do not listen to new ideas or old ideas or whatever and um, they become well they're basically assholes they just they have prejudice it's just they've shifted it towards something else anyway I, I don't live in a world where I have any illusions of what uh, things are that aren't true by a mile what I mean by that is, if I don't think that's the way how it is, then I'm not going to feed um, popular belief that um, a certain thing is the way it is. Most people don't want to talk about it. Most people don't want to have anything to do with it. I actually have very few constructive conversations about this sort of thing with anybody. Uh, it's like they just never have the time uh, they're always busy or they don't want to say anything or they're who knows why 
So I admit it, I, I just have the basis of an idea here. There are people out there who understand this concept a lot better than I do. But uh, I haven't met them yet, so um, we'll, we'll brainstorm some ideas for a uh, more professional video at some point in time. And when we do, then um, people are going to understand that um, there's something wrong with how the world looks and uh, there's something wrong with the picture and you can't be stupid anymore if you want to be stupid then that's fine but you shouldn't be in a position to make decisions people think I'm stupid and that I shouldn't be in a position to make decisions well, I'm not actually in one, but that may be true, but um, I go along with somebody whose beliefs uh, are similar to mine, who may be more intelligent than I am. We'll, we'll figure it out from there. Anyway, uh, I am kind of really tired, so I'm going to try and get back to sleep. Hopefully I'll have sweet dreams. Anyway, have a good one. Good night.